In this video, we will learn how we can indent or shift our code to left or right. And then later we will see how we can auto align the code. Let's open a file. Uh, so to uh, shift our code to right, we can use right angle bracket and to shift our code to left, we can use left angle bracket. So let's say we want to shift this current line to right. We'll use right angle bracket twice. This will keep on shifting the current line to right. Similarly, to shift the current line to left, we'll use left angle bracket twice. Now to shift multiple lines, we can combine the shift operation with motion. So in this case, if this uh, shift operation bracket and J, this becomes uh, right angle bracket and J, this will uh, shift right the current line and the line below it because J is used to move one line below. Similarly, right angle bracket and 5J will uh, shift the current line and next five lines right. So let's see. Now, let's say we want to shift this line and a uh, line below it. We'll do right angle bracket J. This will shift the current line and the line below it. And uh, to uh, shift left, we'll use left angle bracket J. Similarly, if we are at the uh, below line, we can use right angle bracket K uh, current line and the line above it and similarly left angle bracket k to go back left by one shift now for bigger blocks let's say we want to shift this whole block by right so this is if you are here this is how many uh, six lines below it so we'll do right angle bracket 6j similarly to uh, shift left we'll use left angle bracket 6j we are back so that's how we can uh, shift our code left and right one thing we notice that whenever we are shifting, it is shifting by four spaces. We can control this by how many spaces to shift. Uh, there is a setting called shift width and its current value is four. We can use question mark to uh, see the current value. This is four. That's why it is shifting by four spaces whenever we are doing left or right indentation. To uh, change this let's say we want to shift uh, our code by eight spaces then we can set it to eight and now if we shift it will shift by eight spaces towards left or right so that's how we can control the number of spaces how much to shift whenever i perform this operation uh, let set it to four again now let's say we are in insert mode and we want to shift the current line so from the insert mode itself, we can shift the current line left or right. So let's say we are here and we want to insert a new line. We press O and then start writing. This is new code. And soon after writing, we realize that this should be outside of this if block. So what we can do is we can use uh, control D. This will shift the current line to left and from the insert mode itself. We don't have to go into normal mode and uh, use angle bracket to shift left or right uh, we can shift from the insert mode itself shift left or right from the insert mode itself so control d will shift left and control t will shift right so this is very handy whenever we are writing something and we realize that uh, it should be outside or inside a if block so this becomes very easy and now if we insert further line this within the same alignment so that's about it for uh, shifting our code left or right and from the insert mode if you want to shift the current line. There is a setting that I would like to mention that is related to uh, checking the indentation of the file. So there is setting called cursor column. So if we uh, set this, this will enable a vertical line. And using this, we can uh, see the indentation of the block. This is very helpful when I generally edit YAML files. Now we'll see how we can auto align the code. And uh, we don't have to use any plugin uh, for that. Vim already has this feature. So let's open a file. Here I have created some misalignments in the code, which will be aligning to learn how we can align our code. So to auto align the code, we can use equal to. So if I press double equal to, it will align the code because this uh, line was not aligned well. If I undo this, 
this is not aligned with respect to the other lines in this uh, function if i do double equal to it will align with respect to other lines in the function similarly for uh, two lines we can use equal to j align the current line and a line below it if i undo and if we are here we can do equal to k current line and a line above it and let's take a bigger block so here i created a misalignment wherein this block is not aligned with respect to the function uh, and uh, and this is very random this is uh, at some other alignment level this is at some other so if i set that vertical uh, line so we see that uh, this for loop is with other alignment level and if we see this this is at uh, some other so this is very random so if we come here come here in this line and this is how much nine lines below it so we'll do equal to 9j this will completely align now we see that this is perfectly aligned similarly from the bottom we can use k equal to 9k similar operation if we are at the bottom of the block or at the top of the block we can do j or k depending on where we are finally let's say we undo this and there are other misalignments also let me unset this now to align the whole file what we can do is if we are anywhere we'll go to the top of the file we'll use equal to and capital g this says 52 lines have been indented which is aligned and this file has 52 lines so this way we can align the whole file in one go there is setting that i use for alignment So I use this setting uh, auto indent. This will copy the indent from current line when we start a new line. So this is one of the settings that I'll recommend whenever we want to align our code with respect to other lines in the uh, function or file. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.